We are Ontario First Nations Technical Services Corporation, engineers and technicians helping First Nations solve complex infrastructure problems. Access to clean drinking water is a basic human right, but countless First Nations children in Ontario have never had a drink of clean water from a tap. The events triggering boil water advisories are commonly understood. The reasons are many. They include mechanical breakdowns, inadequate cash flow for parts and chemicals, inability to secure needed parts and transportation of those parts, absentee operators, low and inadequate water pressures and volumes in the system, source contamination introduced by human activity in source waters, chemical treatment errors by operators, natural contaminants occurring in the source water, plant operator errors, pump breakdowns, and vandalism by community members. While understanding the superficial causes is helpful, we really need to understand the underlying or root causes to solve the problems. These include placing reliance on elected officials to monitor operators, little to no proactive maintenance of systems, no regulatory enforcement when deficiencies are noted, Elected officials not being made aware of deficiencies. No recourse when operators refuse certification and training. No quality control and monitoring systems. Very poorly designed distribution systems. And decades of chronic underfunding. This brings us to the technical solutions. We can look at a problem from a short-term perspective or a long-term perspective. The reality is, Drinking water is needed now. Therefore, it is important to take a two-path approach. We have to start down both paths simultaneously, dealing with short-term issues and also moving towards long-term solutions. The most important of these solutions is putting elected officials in the driver's seat with the information, financial resources, and tools to direct and oversee their public utilities. Elected officials need to also select technical standards, guidelines, and operator certification standards. If water is to be regulated by a body that licenses and enforces regulations, elected officials must authorize and fund that regulatory body. If water is self-governed, elected officials need to divide accountabilities for operating drinking water systems and technical oversight of those systems. If systems are complex, elected officials appoint and fund a capable operating authority, also called a public utility or system operator. They need to implement life cycle maintenance programs and long-term asset planning for system growth and replacement. For very low complexity systems, elected officials may choose to appoint a highly capable operator with some outside monitoring of risks. Our First Nations sometimes ask how we can play a more significant role in supporting their clean water objectives. The answer depends on their regulatory approach. If a nation chooses self-regulation, we can serve as your designated water authority or perform health checks of your own water operations. If the nation chooses enforced self-regulation, we can lead a quality management approach like ISO certification. If they choose more formal regulatory approaches, we can serve as the water authority who liaises with the water commission or water regulator. This assumes that a First Nations regulator is created by First Nations in Ontario. Effective June 2020, we've been funded as a water hub to provide regular technical services to First Nations not affiliated with a tribal council. For all nations in Ontario, we can train your operators for free through our circuit rider training program. With effective governance, resources, and capable water authorities to operate their systems, First Nations can gain full control of their water utilities, delivering safe drinking water to their nation. We are Ontario First Nations Technical Services Corporation, supporting our First Nations in achieving technical self-reliance.